Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby once again and I'm back again with another short video. This video is going to be very very short because recently I did a video about Wendell Brown, an American footballer here in China who got arrested by trying to defend himself in a club. Okay, so he got arrested um, somewhere around 2016, so he has been behind bars for what? two years and today was the verdict today was the verdict and the verdict is already done and four more years has been added so when the brown is going to spend totally six years in chinese prison for a crime that he did not commit so i just want to show you that because this is something new a friend of mine sent it to me right now that uh, the verdict is out so uh, just tell the people that the verdict is already out so i know most of you because i did a video about it with over 11,000 views so i have to share with you guys for you to know what really happened today was the verdict and um, watch this video and know what happened we have breaking news just in tonight detroit native and former football player wendell brown still behind bars in china learns his fate four more years in prison that was the judge's sentence Brown went to China to teach kids how to play American football, but in 2016, he was involved in a bar fight. Brown and the U.S. State Department say it was self-defense, but he's been behind bars ever since. His trial concluded nearly a year ago, but the verdict was just handed down tonight, again, four more years. His family devastated by the news, and Brown plans to appeal. Fox News' Ryan Amati will have much more on this breaking story coming up on The Edge later right here on Fox 2. Certainly not the news uh, the Brown family was looking for. Miss Brown, uh, you just received a call. What was that call? Um, a guilty verdict, four years. And they asked Wendell, did he want to appeal? And he said yes. So they're going to continue to hold him until the appeal come up. How long that's going to be, I don't know. Uh, it's incredible, uh, the facts of this case and, and how he has been held. It's just wrong. and Everybody knows it's wrong. Um, just there's no quit in this family, though, right now, I know. Not at all. No. We just got to figure out what's the next move. Your family has been waiting for a verdict in this case since the trial was over back in July. Um, they come with this verdict now. Is there any sense, if you want to look at that, just in case it's somebody, um, is there any sense of what's next now? I don't know what's next. I'm going to talk to his lawyer and find out what our next move is to do. Well, I know there's no quit in you and there's no quit in this family. Not at all. Because God is with us. And he hear our prayers. Thank you very much for your time, Ms. Brown. And Thank we're you. We're going to keep fighting, too. Um, guys, we'll send it back to you. Wendell Brown got a verdict. Uh, it was a year in the making, this verdict. Uh, he's been held since September 24, 2016. Guilty, four years. He is appealing. And now the plan is to figure out what the plan is, essentially, in bringing Wendell home. He's an innocent man, and he's being held in China. We'll send it back to you guys. Um, it's really sad to see the mother crying, the way the mother is crying, which means he has really missed his son, and he really want to see Wendell Brown back home. And I hope um, they do an appeal just to get him back home. Let's see how it goes but i will tell you that whenever you are in china as a black man please don't involve yourself in this kind of trouble okay when you as a black man in china when you see this kind of trouble please run away from it because you will always be wrong as a foreigner here in china it's your boy mr ghana baby don't forget to share this video don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe peace out